Again today we are doing the final mission which is the Elga, Elder Monster Gar that we are looking for. So to do this mission you need to get skull bait. We made a separate video of that. We actually put that out before this one. So yeah, the skull bait. You need to get skull bait. So we did a mission on that. This is now catching the actual monster itself. I'm going to show you how and where and what I'm using and that kind of good stuff. Leader was um, set at I think 29 inches I changed it to or was it? No, actually it was close to 40 inches. So like 39 to 40 inches seems to work quite well. And in the night time. But yeah, to get the skull bait, we made a separate video of that. Anytime I do live streams, I always use face cam and mic. Anytime I do videos like this, I just randomly hit record. They always turn out to be the best videos I've ever made. To do this mission, this monster mission, these are under as fish monster missions. We've done quite a few of those now. So you, if you, you're stuck on one, look across the channel. I'm pretty sure there will it will be there. If it isn't there, it will be there very, very soon. We've also completed every single mission all across Fish and Planet, even the most newest lakes. So if you're interested in doing any missions or you're stuck again, you could always check those out for anyone who's interested. Every time I've caught these fish monsters, it's always been at the night time. Anything between 9, 10, 11 and even 12 onwards. Um, yeah, it always seems to work quite well. For this one, I did um, I did start at 9 o'clock. I was fishing for a little bit and it got a little bit... It, it was a little bit rubbish. It was a bit slow going. So I ended up moving over to a different spot and... At this location, to be honest, I did actually catch it pretty fast. It didn't take me too long. And the other location, there is other spots to catch gar in this lake. And you can catch it at another spot, not just here. But the, the first spot that I did try, the float kept moving too much. So because it kept moving, it's a little bit of a pain here. It didn't really move. It kind of sits there in one spot. But in the other place, it kept moving over to the right all the time. The other spot that I caught gar. So that's why I'm fishing here. I will set a marker for this fish as well. And obviously I will show you the setup out of these two rods, which I caught it on. If you are interested in Fishing Planet, that's definitely a good reason to subscribe. Turn notifications on. When you hit the bell, make sure it says all. Anytime the updates come for this game, I'm going to try and push them updates out to you guys as fast as I can. Letting you know about the update. Letting you know what's in the update. And obviously we'll be buying the DLC to get into the new lakes. Showing you new lakes, new rods, new reels tackle anything that fishing planet has to offer with their updates we're going to be here we're going to be streaming it as soon as them updates come for the main part at the moment i'm just making videos these videos seem to work out quite well but yeah when updates drop i definitely do a live stream on this and i let you guys know also if there's certain versions and they add certain things i'll also do updates on that when it comes to bug fixes i don't really bother to do that because it's pretty pointless it's just a bug fix. But if they add anything into this game other than bug fixes, anything that is good in updates and stuff like that, obviously, I'll always let you guys know. We also do play other fishing games and we play other games all across the channel. Unboxing videos and all kind of random videos, moto blogs and, and much more. So, yeah, you can always check some of the other stuff out if anyone is interested. But for now, this was, at first, it was a little bit slow going. I think I caught it around about 11... I think around about 11.20-ish, something like that it was. I did have to make quite a few edits in this video, just because when I kept on trying to record, I was at the other spot, and this was the spot that I found it at. So, yeah, I had to chop the video right down and, and get it that way. So I actually caught the fish. I think it was around about 70 foot out. I'm pretty sure it was about 70, between 60 to 70 feet just right in front of me as you can see there's a tree there right in front just casting towards that again i will show you the map and i'll show you all the good stuff but at the minute just sitting here patiently waiting for for it to take my bait <laughs> to get the skull bait is very easy didn't take long to get the skull bait sometimes the rods run like that and it doesn't actually take your line so don't be too impatient and pick it up too quick because otherwise it'll do what it did for me strike done too early so yeah, wait until that float literally goes under and the float is pulling. Or you can see the tip of the rod is bouncing up and down because if you if you do get it too quick, that's a perfect example. I'm glad in a way that did happen. Yeah, if you get it if you pick it up too quick, you're just going to end up pulling the bait away from the fish or it's going to say it didn't hook or you moved it away from the fish or whatever. So yeah, make sure that the float is definitely running. I actually don't even know how many missions we've done of the fish monster missions now, but we're working our way through them and 
We have done a lot of them, I'm going to be honest. I don't think I have many left. I think there's only two or three left there that I actually need to do. And then that's it. I would have completed all these fish monster missions. The reason why I do all these fish monster missions and the normal missions is one, because you guys ask me, so that's why I do it. Obviously, I've got other videos on how to catch certain fish in certain lakes and showing hot spots, all of that good stuff that you need to know. But these missions, you guys ask for them, so that's why I did them. Not just that you ask for them, but they're also pretty good. They give you some cash and some XP and the bait coins is always my main thing because I spend my real cash when I'm live streaming I spend real money on bait coins jumping days forward so that way when when we're fishing a bad day I'm able to jump forward keep the stream entertaining and keep us getting a ton of fish so yeah I do spend a lot of my own real money on DLCs and on premium and um <laughs> and yeah, I don't even know how much on bait coins, but a good amount. So this is where I actually get hooked up, 11.17pm at night. Uh, again, I will set the location, I set the marker and everything like that, but this was on the skull bait. Obviously, you have to use a float rod or a telescopic match rod. One of those, uh, yeah, barbless hook, hash 6, doesn't have to be barbless. As long as it's a hash 6 slash 0, that may even, even if, oh my gosh, doesn't matter even if got tongue-tied you don't have the same rod as me it doesn't matter as long as you got the same hook the same bait and you're fishing in the same location you'll catch this fish that actually looks really nice that fish it looks really good I even had to back out of this because um i did the mission of how to get the free hat and I had to come back out because i had that free hat on and forgot to put my headlight on for nighttime fishing so <laughs> yeah but it's good fun though we caught it pretty quick there it is the elder guard good size in weight as well doesn't have to be the same um, rod it can be telescopic or match rod obviously the match rod is probably your best bet you can't get these on anything else that's the only way it's going to work for you to get it done but good xp good cash and another two bait coins which is not many unfortunately i would have liked more but one or two bait coins is better than nothing they all add up once you do all these missions and you keep doing them and you keep getting the the bait coins a few here and there they do definitely add up so i'm going to set a marker for that this is where i am on the map here as you can see so just out in front of me just there that's where i caught it so the elder girl nice looking fish it really is i actually really like the look of this fish don't forget as i mentioned to subscribe so you don't miss out on future updates for fishing planet also drop a like on the video it lets us know that you are still enjoying some fishing planet as well um i think i've showed you everything really i'm pretty sure i have but yeah the leader was set at 38 inches and we are over on the very far far left i just walked straight forward and that's where we're fishing so that's my setup again if you want to use the same you can it doesn't matter if you don't as long as it's a hash six slash zero and at the skull bait and fishing same location and same amount of inches on your line on your rod float rod as long as you've got that then you would definitely catch this fish pretty fast didn't take me long at all especially at this location compared to the first location that i did try the yeah it wasn't you can catch them in other places this this is not the only place you would catch it but this is probably the easiest place to catch it anyway i hope you guys did enjoy this one we catch you people again soon for some more fun and games i'm out